The main thing I'm looking for anywhere um, when it comes to investing is I want to go somewhere where I can improve my odds. So I'm going to try to go to as many places where I can improve my odds. That's the, the broad framework. In terms of what I'm looking for specifically, the investment philosophy that has worked best for me, that makes sense to me, that I am capable of executing, um, is to look for three things. I'm looking for a great business with a great management team and I want it at a great price. This is my good quality at a good price framework. Um, and that's what I'm looking for in any stock. And I think that this gives me better odds because a great business becomes worth more over time. A great management team will make a great business worth even more over time. And if you buy it at a great price, you have more, a higher probability of having it go up on you. So in each of these ways, I'm trying to get better odds. So the problem with trying to get a great business with great management at a great price is that the vast majority of you guys and everybody else is looking for, would also be happy to buy that. So there aren't going to be like tons of them raining down on me all of the time. And as a result of that, these things are rare and I'm not going to find a ton of them, which forces me to concentrate my portfolio. So I'm only going to own five to 15 of these stocks. Not because I can't, I would love to own 200 of them. That would give me you know, some broad diversification benefits, but I don't think I'm going to be capable of finding 200 of them, so I'm forced to concentrate. So that's, that's one outcome of looking for this sort of special rare unicorn. So with that, also my default holding is cash. I'll hold cash until I find something special that meets each of these three key criteria. If I don't find that, I, I stay with cash. That's the default for me. So now, I'm looking for these rare things. They're hard to find. And the other part of the problem is that there are tens of thousands of stocks out there. Um, if you look worldwide, um, you look from micro caps to mega caps, you can buy literally tens of thousands of stocks. And you can do research on tens of thousands of stocks. So how, how do you deal with this problem? You're looking for something very rare, and you have way, way too many options to find it. The way I try, one of the ways I try to deal with it to improve my odds of finding something good is I want to kill mediocre ideas as quickly as possible. So I go back to those sort of platitude ideas that sound like platitudes of like I want a good business with a good management team at a good price and I want to use those to kill mediocre ideas as quickly as possible. And the criteria that kills the most ideas in the fastest way for me is the good business criteria. So for me, a good business is one that can earn returns on tangible capital above 20% on a sustained basis that I understand will still be earning high returns on tangible capital in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. So the quickest way to test something is to look at its returns on tangible capital. So what's its after-tax operating profit? Divide that by tangible capital, which is working capital and net pp and &E. If I don't see that above 20% in the past year, why am I still looking at this stock? If I look over the past three years and it's not above an average of 20%, 20% plus, why am I still looking at this stock? My job is to kill this idea and move on and move on and move on until I find something that is worth spending the hours and days and weeks on to really understand. I want to kill these ideas. So that's, that's the quickest way I've found to kill bad ideas or to kill mediocre ideas that probably aren't worth my time. On management, I want to look for red flags where they do something big, they make an acquisition, they sell a company, and when I look at that transaction, I say, why in God's name did you do that? Move on. Uh, on price, I try not to look at price until later in the process when I have valued the business. That's how I try to winnow the field and increase my odds of finding something worth spending days, weeks, maybe a month or something like that on to figure out. So you kill these ideas as quickly as you can. So that's one part of having tens of thousands of ideas out there and trying to like, make sense of that when you want to have a concentrated portfolio because you want to find special unicorns.